Welcome. Welcome, my friends. Today we are watching episode 21 of Vinland Saga. We're very close to the end of season one, and I don't want it to end. But, well, there's gonna be a season two. I think it's pretty much set and announced. So, yeah, I'm very excited for that. But, well, as I said, still, I, I don't want this first season to end. <sighs> well, aside from that, I want to say thank you to all my patrons who support me and this channel. Your support is very much appreciated. You guys are the best. I love you. I really do. So, thank you again. If you also want to join the Patreon, support the channel and also get some early access to full reactions, then visit the link and join my Patreon. Alright, let's get into episode 21 of Vinland Saga. Reunion. Uh, oh, this is gonna be great, guys. Interesting outfit. I like it. That. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What must he be feeling right now? Seeing Ashgalato. <laughs> 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 Wait, it actually happened? What? Okay, I get what's going on. He's gonna see Torfin. Don't interfere with the reunion. Jesus Christ. Just leave. <laughs> the animation on that. Might you be? Wait. What's with that sur uh, no surname? Uh, last name. Sorry, last name. Are you? Yeah, he's gotten pretty old. Leif, that's was uh, that was his name. Uh, uh, this is gonna be interesting because now there is something again within his reach that reminds him of his past. Yeah. What the? No, I'm. No, yeah, yeah. That's not him. For, for a second, because of... <laughs> yeah, there's pretty much no man who looks like Knut. Yeah, looking at you. How different he is now from back then. She's still alive? Okay. Hmm. 
ハセラトが野郎が生きて飯を食いくそたれてる間は十分じゃねえ十分じゃねえわお、そんな力を持なんということか。うん、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっあでもよこの町にはすべん兵家がいるんだぜまとにかけんならそっちだろうああ確かになあそれにおよつには二人おられるでわざわざ次男の方を狙うってこと They're kind of figuring it out 確たる証拠は突きつけず王兵家側に余裕を残してやる方がいい It's very smart 暗殺者を雇ったのはおめえか自作自演じゃねえかなかなかの演出だったろただ、わざわざだけじゃダメだ。アスカル is a master mind。明日の会議にこれがどう影響するかななるほど。この私が不利になるような命令は下せなくなる。その通りです。チーズス。アスカル is always two steps ahead at least. グンナルドの信用してはなりませんおそらくスベンオに通じていますいや、ヒーヒー、ヒー、100% is グンナルが患者であればどうする Every step is carefully constructed 泳がせましょう、うん、彼を通じてこちらが短期決戦を望んでないことを王陛下側に知ってもらいましょう患者からの情報なら信用し、yep. 安心する。Mm. You could say a s k e l o t is like a king、uh, in the background, the king in the shadows。ドイツの魂しあいに夢中か。それが戦士のやるのか。Welcome to the world of politics, my friend. Oh shit. Oh. That's why they said tomorrow. Ah,、uh, they're both injured. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Rest in peace, Bjorn. Ah, at least he went out the way he wanted to. He chose his own passing, his own death. That not many people are able to do that. Not many people could say, well, they can't say it anymore, but if they could. They couldn't say <laughs> that they were able to choose how 
they die. So this is very special. And the way it was portrayed, the soundtrack, the lighting, Askeladz and Bjorn's eyes meeting. Bjorn saying that he wanted Askeladz to be his true friend and Askeladz confirming that Bjorn is his only true friend. A very powerful, very touching, emotional moment, which I'll probably never forget. This was very impactful. It was grand. <sighs> and another amazing character has left us. This is really sad. This is... <sighs> so sad may he rest in peace in Valhalla with all of his fallen comrades where he may drink beer and fight as much as he wants and someday Askeladd will join him ah true friends yeah the, the fact that Askeladd was completely willing to do this to actually kill his own friend because he was going to die anyway and so it was very merciful it was an honorable thing to do that just signifies yeah Askeladd and Bjorn they were true friends at least in Askeladd's eyes. Now also, yeah, the, Askeladd is just a genius, a mastermind, as I said. The king in the shadows. He is a puppet master, pulling the strings and everything goes according to his plan so far. He's controlling every move, every step. It's mind-boggling how intelligent and clever this man is. And now he's in companionship with Knut and Torkel. This trio, and also Torfin. But yeah, we all know that they're not really true comrades or companions. We all know what Torfin wants. Yeah, but th but this trio is, I would say, almost unbeatable when it comes to warfare, but also politics. Uh, yeah, th this episode was also pretty political. <laughs> Thorfinn said it himself, all this deceiving, but, well, that's what it's like. That's just how it is when it comes to politics and the crown, who's going to sit on the throne. The series that comes to mind is Game of Thrones, and there you can see it in all its glory, the deceiving, the making moves, strategizing, setting up traps... All this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's it's very exciting, very entertaining when you're spectating from the outside. I, I give my hats off to Askeladd for being the way he is. It's just truly, truly amazing what he's capable of doing and scheming. Yeah. Aside from that, we got a reunion, Leif and Torfin, after 11 years, he said. It's been 11 years. Really? Such... No. It can't be. 11 years. Well, if that's true. The, yeah. 
well, such a long time. And now we're finally getting the perspective of someone who knew Torfinn when he was so young and spent so much time with him, was pretty much part of his family, almost. So he he knows what Torfinn was like, what he was truly like, this young child, this innocent young man who was always curious and a true explorer who wanted to go to Vinland more than anything else. But see what has what he has become. I feel though that there's still because he asked about Vinland, he doesn't he didn't ask about his family, which is understandable because of what happened to Taurus and all the trauma he has gone through. I do understand why he wouldn't really want to touch on that subject, the subject of family. But he, he's looking straight ahead. So Vinland is still very much ingrained in his mind as the place to go and explore. That was his his true and first wish, his dream. And yeah, it's gonna happen 100%, but at what point? What obstacles are gonna lie ahead on the path to Vinland? What's gonna happen in that span of time? We know, we don't know. We can't say, but I'm excited for the future. Again, rest in peace, Bjorn. You were a great character, and yeah, it's just sad seeing him go. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think about this episode, and subscribe if you haven't yet. So, enjoy your day, take care, and bye.